What's up, world? It's your girl, Nita B, a.k.a. Young Show, a.k.a. Back with another video, man. So, look, man, as y'all can tell by that title, we are doing a full review, a full review of Burger King's new, new Southwest Whopper. Now, this is the funny story, y'all. I was just finna do a regular mukbang. I wasn't finna do nothing extra, nothing like that, but when I pulled up to the Burger King, skr, skr, I seen a new waffle. Now, maybe I ain't been watching TV or something like that because I damn sure didn't know they had no new burger out. And I really ain't been on my stuff like I, you know, used to be because, you know, I've been a little under the, <clears throat> under the weather. My allergies been kicking my ass a little bit. So, I got the new Southwest. The new, they put an S, the SU on it. I don't know. But it's the new Southwest waffle, man. So I'm finna go ahead and dive into this thing. So a mukbang became like a mukbang review type of thing. So, man, if this is your first time coming across my channel, go ahead hit that like button to this video because you know I'm finna give this honest review. And we're gonna have a little fun with it. And if you ain't subscribed yet, go ahead hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Go and turn on post notification bells on so y'all can every time we post and you know what I'm saying, like the video, drop some comments down below. If you know, maybe y'all didn't had this before. Maybe this is my first time. I'm late to the game. Maybe I'm late to the party. But you know what I'm saying? They say the fly people come late anyway, if you hear me. So we finna go and get into this video. So now on this burger. Oh, Lord, they made it messy. Why they always throwing stuff together? Do they just throw my stuff together? But this one got, they got some little chips on it. Like, some tortilla chips. It looks like some little Dorito strips. And then it got bacon, guacamole, and lettuce and tomatoes and onions. So, let me see what this little chip like. I ain't really crunching no more. Better be good with some dip, like with just the guacamole. Like y'all should do that. Just some little. So I guess Burger King trying to get a little, a little. I don't know. Is it Mexican flavor to it? A little exotic flavor to the, you know, to their king. You know what I'm saying? Is this the one. Is this the one? I don't know. We finna see. We finna see. It really ain't that damn big. But I did get the junior. Just to let y'all know, I did not get the big waffle. I do not need the big waffle. Don't want the big waffle. Especially knowing that I don't know where the Southwest is. So I'm just sampling. Give me the sampler choice. And give me the junior. So without further ado, I'm going to let y'all have first bite with all that guac right there. Mm. Was it good? I hope it was. Let me see. It ain't nasty, but it ain't giving me nothing. Now, I'm gonna give y'all the real re review. The real, real review. The real, real, real review. You feel me? And, um, hold on, let me get some of this crunchy stuff. Hold on. Okay. Since I'm not being sponsored by Burger King or uh, getting no type of endorsement deals or anything, this is a real review. And Burger King, I see what you was doing, but I don't think you slid all the way in the home base with this one. You ain't hit no home run with this one, but you damn sure got the third baby. Maybe you got the second and you tried to steal third, but it wasn't no home run though. Like, cause I do like guacamole. I can hit on some tortilla chips with some guacamole and you know, I see what you tried to do here. And it ain't nasty. It ain't nasty people, so don't do that. I ain't saying it's nasty. I'm just saying, you know, it's missing, it's missing like a little sprinkle or something. 
Make a little sprinkle of uh, salt, uh, some salsa, uh, uh, something. What, what's the, what's the, tahin, some. But it ain't bad. I ain't gonna do that. It's not bad at all. It really, it really just said it no, it's not no big difference between the regular Whopper and this one. Other than they slap some. And you were in the guacamole ain't even all the way just, it ain't even all the way just strong. It ain't like, bow, in your face guacamole. Like, guacamole, like, I'm in this, bow. Like, it ain't like that. It's like, very subtle. And that is subtle. So y'all The order is See I got the deal If you go right now They have the Southwest Whopper With the four piece nugget A drink and Some Oh lord my mask on the fry <laughs> and the fries for five dollars. Go down there right now if you want to try this stock with snack pack deal. Five dollars. It's good. It's worth five dollars. But the big one, like that big one, you know how the big whoppers is. I can't eat that much whopper. I'm a junior whopper till I die. I can't eat nothing that big. If I try to eat a full waffle, it just ain't gonna happen. I ain't eating a full waffle. I don't even. I was trying to pick some up, say some, you know, lay a full waffle. I'm busting all that. I just ain't gonna eat it. The junior buddies do the job. They do the job every time. And oh yeah, man, I'm just now getting my taste back. So everything it was refreshing to me. By the way, I was sick the whole fourth. Like I missed so many good events. I didn't get to go to the Gil Cello Festival. You know, I was supposed to be doing some vlogging out there. I didn't really get to um enjoy my fourth like I wanted to even though I, we really ain't celebrating the fourth you know what I'm saying we really don't celebrate the fourth like we did when we was younger you know a lot of stuff that changed in these worlds today so you know what we at these Juneteenths over here so I didn't really care about missing the fourth you know we did throw a little couple meats on the grill but you know I was still kind of allergenic my allergies were messing up real bad so I don't know. Maybe it's just me. As minorities in this country, do you feel like we should still celebrate the fourth? Knowing that what it represents ain't really what we being represented with. You know what I'm saying? But like, the fourth is supposed to represent independence, land of the free. You get to do all you, you know, just be your best self. Be all you can be. But do you really feel like it's like that now? Because, you know, like, especially with Roe versus Wade being overturned and all these shootings going on, you know what I'm saying? Do you really feel like this the land of the free? Like, don't get it twisted. Like, whoop. I ain't saying it's just the worst country ever. I'm not saying that. Because they got way stricter laws in some of them countries over there. But I'm just saying as what we know it as, as what we grew up thinking it was, and now that we're a little bit grown, now that we're older, do we really know what the word independence means? And do we really feel independent in this world? Or do you feel like you have to really, like, I won't say count on something or depend on something, but do you really feel like 
the country and you know not to try to be political but do you feel like you have all the as my especially as minorities do 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 we feel like we have all the resources that we can possibly reach or are we are we like limited you feel me I mean, I'm just, I'm just trying to see what's the perspective of my, of my people, y'all, my people. You know what I'm saying? So, if you listening, hit me up. Talk back. Let's have a conversation, like, for real. If y'all didn't got this far in the video, or maybe y'all just came for the burger, that's cool. If y'all just came for the burger, that's cool. But that just came to my mouth, like, think about the fourth and everything that's going on right now. Like, with everything that's calaminating and construing and rising in the world, like... I ain't no political cat. I ain't never been in politics, you know. But my first time voting was this year, and I'm like, did it? Did it even count? Do my vote even count? Like, cause you know, it's the popular vote, it's the electoral vote. Does my vote count? I just want to know. Can anybody really just tell me, 100% honestly, cold heartedly, that my vote counted? For the president that we got, I just wanna know. Y'all let me know. But I'm, I'm through with that. I'm gonna keep my mouth off that. But I just had to say, you know, it was on my mind. I just had to speak my tongue. My tongue had to develop the words. So, but back to what we came here for: the burger. And if I had to rate this burger. I would rate it a solid 7.5 out of 10. I would give it 7.5 out of 10. Because, like I said, it's not bad. It's actually good. It's just missing something. It's just missing something. I don't know what it is. It's missing something. A little tiny hing seasoning, something. It's missing some season salt, something. But it ain't giving me that. Wow. I don't want a wow. Like, when I taste new stuff, I want a wow factor. Like, for real. Look, man, I'm sorry for looking around, but I'm in, a, like, a shopping center right now. It's, like, people walking by, looking at me crazy. Like, who am I talking to on the phone? Man, I'm talking to my people. When we reviewing this burger. So, yeah, man. Go try this burger. Please go try this burger. It's the new Southwest Burger at Burger King. Southwest Waffle. Let me know what y'all think about it. Because... My allergy still could be kicking in, and I might not be getting that, you know, that wow that I'm, you know, that I'm looking for because my allergy still kind of, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So go ahead, and try out the waffle. Let me know what y'all think in the comments and um, until next video, if y'all ain't subscribed yet, go and subscribe to this channel, man, because as we get better, we are growing, and as we are growing, we are getting better. So y'all can go ahead and help me get better, go on by helping, and you know how you gonna help. Look, it is free. It is super duper extra escalosis doses free. I don't know what that means. But it don't cost you nothing to hit that subscribe button. Turn them post notification bells on and then like this video. Because, man, we going up. Help your girl out. It's free. And, man, when I get to a certain man, I want to start giving giveaways for the people who really mess with me, who really down with the power on, who really mess with the game. We're going to start giving giveaways, all type, you know what I'm saying, to show love. Because, like I said, man, it don't cost y'all nothing to be here. But y'all choose to watch me. And I appreciate everything. So, man, it's going to get up. And until next video, man, peace.